Hi, and welcome to this 11 Wonder Shop tutorial of your wedding crossword puzzle sign. So today we'll be walking through the steps of how to make a wedding crossword sign template so you can have this at your wedding day personalized with your own details. So when you purchase this, you'll get two files from your digital download. You will get a PDF file, which looks like this. And you will also get a Word file, which includes crossword ideas for your personalized wedding crossword. So this PDF download takes you step by step through the process, as well as gives you a link to the video that we're sharing here. With this download, you're first going to start with the Word document and update your crossword with your personalized information. This crossword clue idea list currently includes 15 ideas, which you can feel free to add, remove, and edit to meet your needs. So for example, to update this list, you will change the first line, which has the answer to the clue, leave this space, and then you will have a clue written afterwards. So for this first example here, you have the location where the groom proposed, and you can write in the location where your groom proposed. If you have answers that have two or more words, uh, such as what's your groom's favorite movie, and if the answer is Harry Potter, you'll just combine the two words together to make one word with Harry, no space, Potter, for example. If you want to add new clues to your crossword, you can do so at the bottom using the same format. So let's say you want to add a question of what's the wedding hashtag. You can write your clue and then put your answer up front. Of course, this hashtag answer will be personalized to you, but this is just an example. And if you want to delete any clues that you will not be using or don't match uh, you or your groom's personalization, you can just simply highlight that and then delete that line. So once you've done this, you will go to your crossword clue maker, which the link is in your PDF. You'll click this blue button here, and this will open up your crossword clue maker. You'll title your crossword clue maker whatever you like. For example, Sarah and James wedding crossword. Then you will take your clues from your Word document, copy them, and paste them into your crossword maker, like this. Uh, once you have done that, save and finish. And you can see your crossword is output here, like this. You'll have your answers across and then down written out here below. If you want to make any changes, you can hit edit and it'll take you back to this home page and then you can edit any of the answers or clues if something doesn't look right. Then just go back to save and finish again. And once you're satisfied with your crossword puzzle, you will click share. And then you can make any further adjustments to the width of the borders, the font size, box sizes, and then once you've made any adjustments that you want, hit this SVG button, which will save your crossword as an SVG. And then that will be downloaded to your computer and you can save that locally to use in your template. Once you're done with this, once you've saved your SVG, you'll click close and leave this crossword table open. We'll come back to it in a little bit. Going back to your PDF template instructions, you will scroll down to the Canva sizing options and select the size that you want to use for your crossword sign. Then once that opens, you can edit your sign to include your appropriate names and date.
You can also adjust the fonts if you like using the fonts provided by Canva. And you can also make adjustments to the font color using this button here. Once you've made your updates to your name and other information, we can then pull in our crossword puzzle and make the updates. So what you'll want to do first is delete this template crossword and then go to your go to the location that you saved your crossword SVG and just drag and drop it into the template. You can then adjust this so that it fits into the space as desired. And you can feel free to move around the boxes so that everything fits appropriately. Next, once everything is placed so that you can read the crossword and the text, you can go back to your crossword puzzle and copy in the across and down text so that it will match your crossword puzzle. So just right click and copy and then right click and paste. When you do this, Canva may try to automatically renumber your text. You'll simply just highlight the text and then press this number button up here so that the numbers will appropriately match the crossword. And then you'll do the same for the down clues. Go back, copy, and paste. You can make any final adjustments to the text location. And then once you're happy with your final result, you will go to the share button and then click download. And you can save as a PNG, JPEG, or PDF. and then save that locally, and you can send that off to a printer. Now for a couple of FAQs. So once you've created your first crossword using your desired dimensions, but let's say you want another dimension. So the easiest way to do that is if you have Canva Pro, you can use this resize option. Um, however, this is a paid subscription. If you don't have Canva Pro, that's okay. Uh, workaround is to press this button here. This will open up this little slide deck where you can see the template. And then you'll copy this template by doing control C and then go into your other dimensions, for example, 24 by 18, and then you can hit paste. And then this will automatically resize to match this new template. You can make some adjustments so things fit appropriately for this new dimension, but this will save you some time from manually redragging and adjusting everything for each individual template size. And then you can just simply delete the original, and then there's your new design size. You can do this again for any size of template link or create your own dimensions that you want to use. A couple other things that you can change in this template is the background color if you want to change it to match your theme. So if you wanted a light green background, for example, you could click there and make any adjustments using the exact hex code or using this little color slider bar. You can also add in additional icons or graphics using the elements tab and then pick whatever graphics that you like using the search function. And you can also add in photos. Uh, similar to how you added the crossword, you can upload your personal photos and drag and drop them to have your own unique photos in here. For where to print your final product, once you've saved it to a PNG or PDF, again, in your download file that is included with your template, 
it has any details on print providers that you can have this printed at, including FedEx, Walmart, or CVS. Or we recommend Prince of Love, which will print a tree for every order that's placed. And to use these sites, simply just click on the photo and it'll take you directly to those print providers. Lastly, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me on Etsy. I'm happy to help. Thanks for watching this 11 Wonders tutorial on how to make your wedding crossword. See you guys in the next one.